here at Iron Horse Garage. We mostly work on classic cars, trucks, and occasionally newer vehicles. And sometimes Jason's mouth overloads his brain and we work on boats. So what this thing is, is a Capri Model 19, 1952. Yeah, model 1952, I believe. Bayliner. Bayliner. So it's got a uh, it's got a Merc cruiser. I believe this is an inboard outboard. Um, so we got to go get some fluids. Uh, you're supposed to hook up these muffs right here because it actually has these vents right here, and that's what sucks your water in. And if you fire that up without having your hose hooked up to it or the boat being in the water, then you can overheat it because it's obviously water cool. So let's go get some fluids. And we'll come back and start this baby up. We got the oil, gear lube. So now Jason's gonna put it in. install your plug so you don't sink. With Lake Lowell only five minutes away, we will test this bay liner out close by. Lake Lowell was opened in 1909 and is one of the largest off-stream reservoirs in the American West, with a capacity to irrigate over 200,000 acres of land. Boating, swimming, and fishing are among the many activities that folks enjoy at this beautiful oasis in southwest Idaho. Bird watching, hiking, and hunting are other recreation options. We're not going to scrap in this front until we get down there. We'll grip me. Thing's not going nowhere. I'm not doing that in the water. You see how those sides need adjusted so that they're touching the wood? But it's up on the bottom. Jason will now attempt to safely load the boat at the loading ramp, swerving and dodging the innocent bystanders surrounding the area. Cross your fingers, nobody gets hurt. I just want everybody to know that Will does not know how to swim, so he is risking his life for this customer to make sure their boat runs good for their pleasure. Come a little more. Jason frantically slamming throttles, turning keys, flipping switches, pushing buttons, in all hopes that he can get this boat to run. Come on. Don't worry, Jason says he knows everything about everything. He's got this. Let's head to the open water. Well, Jason's qualified to drive one of these. So no way to go. No way to go. This is a bad to the bone, stern driven powerboat. It has 135 horsepower with a fiberglass hull. The beam is at 7 feet 6 inches 
with a length of 19 feet. Total net weight of 2,375 pounds. Let's see what this baby can do. Uh, let's go starboard. Ahoy. Boats are definitely not our specialty, and should probably stay that way. Betray again. Parallel parking is different in a boat compared to a car. Tie off or what? No. Nope. I'm not going to tie off. I'll just come onto the trailer. You have to be real careful. You're going to have to lift that all the way, raise that before you start moving forward. No. Probably not the smartest place to stand. Jason deserves a Darwin Award. That's it. That's all I got. Hold it there, man. I'm gonna raise this thing. That's about it. We're going to finish strapping this baby down, take it back to the customer, and get back to work on some cars. Till next time. <laughs>